Hi, I'm Dave, and this is Crit Thinking. I want to talk a little bit about some of the comments that were made about my first video um, and be a little critical of those comments. Um, and uh, also, I just want to take a minute to explain what crit thinking is. Crit thinking is um, literally a, um, a way to inspire critical thinking. It's not here to present a very uh, polished argument. It's simply just putting thoughts out there. Um, yes, I, I, I think they're logical, or at least logical to begin thinking about, um, and I think um, you will find that they're well thought out in my head, but in terms of presentation, I didn't think about how to present them, and um, I haven't thought through everything concerning them yet. Um, I just want to get dialogue out there and people thinking, um, and inspire that critical thinking. So also, you know, because of my own uh, health issues with stamina, since I had a um, sort of brain injury in the past, it's... Um, too difficult for me to really develop polish arguments. So um, so that's another reason why I'm doing it like this instead. So some of the comments basically go like this, that my argument um, about a test for God, that it's really circular reasoning. You only um, verify the test if you believe. Um, so in other words, they're saying that you will only attribute the test being passed if you believe. You're attributing the things that are confirming God's existence to God only because you already believe that it is from God. Um, so, I get that. I see what you're saying. Um, but let's be critical just for a moment. <laughs> I like doing that. Um, so, what you're assuming there is that um, that God is unable to undeniably prove himself to you. Um, so let's just refresh on the, the, the test itself. Um, the test basically, and it's both scriptural, but also inherent. It's just, it makes sense. And the basic test is that when you search for truth, you need to be willing to submit to whatever truth you find. In terms of finding atheism, there's really nothing to submit to, I don't think. Um, in terms of God, there's something that you would be submitting to, that would be God. So if you look around and God truly created all this, now you automatically know, wow, I really should be thankful. I really should be giving my honor to him and really honoring him with my life. So there's that. So, okay, so first off, a test itself is a test in any way a logical argument. I'm not so sure about that. The validity of the test is what's at question, and a lot of people brought that up. So, um, so I guess in a minute we'll ask, is that test valid. But I want to bring it back to whether my original intent was logical. And the basic thing that I was saying is simply this. A lot of times atheists will sort of mock the Christian faith or, or theism and say things like, well, sp flying spaghetti monster and, and things like that. And my whole point was that if there is a test and an atheist doesn't take it, and that test would prove God, um, they really shouldn't be so sure. And when I say prove God, I'm saying that if... Well, so yeah. So, okay. Whew. So the next question is, is this test valid? And the simple answer to that is, I know that it is, but do others know that it is? You don't know if it's valid beforehand. You have no clue what this test is going to result in. So, you take the test. 
Okay, you seek God with all your heart. So what are you expecting? You're expecting things to happen. Okay, and now it's like, okay, are those things naturally explainable or are they God explainable? Only by God. The answer to that is that you're assuming that God cannot undeniably prove himself if you seek him with all his heart. And I, I think that's not logical to believe. And so the concept is that if this test is circular reasoning, the bottom line is that God can break that circle. God can truly break that circle. So thoughts to think about. So just remember, don't quit thinking. Be crit thinking. I mean, say it again. Don't quit thinking. Start crit thinking. Anyway, signing off.